Oh, hello, my friends, and welcome to Open Studio D. And today, as I promised, we're going to talk about gels. When and how I uh, use a gel. This is a question uh, that I got um, from you guys asking uh, how I'm using gel and when I'm using gel. And today I'm going to add another question to it uh, just to make sure we cover everything. So why? So we will have three questions. First question, why? To use a gel second question when to use gel and the third will be how how to use gel in your pro painting process so let's get started As I mentioned, we're going to talk about three uh, questions. Why, when, and how. So, there's a lot of uh, gels on the market and gel considered as a medium. So, if you go to any uh, art stores and look at the medium section, you're probably going crazy, especially if you're a beginner. Uh, there's a lot of mediums and you have no idea how to use those mediums. Maybe we'll shoot a video on it, like how to use different mediums. And you didn't have to really um, study all of them um, just you know watch some videos and get what you need if, for example in my process I'm using only two mediums I'm using underpainting medium which I mix myself and then I'm using gel that's it that's only two mediums and then I'm using and I have uh, steps for it so let's get to um, let's get to our questions why to use gels and actually let's before the why let's um, let's talk about which brands to use. Again, there is a bunch of brands uh, on the market right now. I'm not going to cover all of them, but I'm going to cover three, three brands that I'm using that I found um, workable and I found enjoyable. Uh, and it actually works with my underpainting and I'll explain you why. So I have three, uh, three brands or three different gels that I'm using and I'm using them in different ways and they're different. Uh, the first one is uh, by Gambling Solvent Free Gel. Uh, it's a, a very recognizable by the light blue uh, strip of uh, color block square. I don't know <laughs> on top. Um, so this is solvent free by Gambling, and I'm using it with my underpainting. So this gel goes with my underpainting. I'm not gonna use this gel with different underpainting. Okay, so this is kind of family. And the underpainting that I'm using, uh, or this gel, when I'm using with my underpainting, my underpainting is actually uh, what I call medium two underpainting. It's uh, two parts of varnish and one part of uh, gimsol. Uh, so two parts of varnish and one part of gimsol. I mix it and I store it. I have a bunch of bottles with this medium. So if I'm using that underpainting, I have this gel in my bag or in my studio and I'm not using this and there's a reason why because this gel will go pretty good on top of my underpainting to uh, medium two, two parts of underpainting and one part of um, Gamsol. All right so this is number one uh, by Gambling Solvent Free Gel. Uh, gel number two is Galkit Gel by, by, by Galkit, I mean by Gambling, by, by Gambling. Uh, and uh, hey, listen, I'm not getting paid for gambling. Uh, I'm not introducing, you know, uh, or representing their companies. So that I'm not getting paid for it. Uh, this is just the gel that I'm using. So Galkit gel. Now I'm using this gel only if I'm using, uh, I have another underpainting medium, which I use a lot uh, when I paint outside and explain you why. First of all, what is it? You know what that medium consists of is one part of gel kit, this gel kit, just regular regular gel kit, right here. Um, kind of, you know, it's not even running. <laughs> it's got you know a layer, dry layer, but this is gel kit medium. So gel kit medium, uh, you can you can use it straight from the bottle. Some people use it, but. Um, I was taught to use different way. So I'm using Galkit, one part of Galkit and one part of Gimsol, just mixed together. Now you cannot make this uh, mediums a lot and store it uh, because with time, for some reason, it's getting a little bit muddy. So I learned to 
I mix it right before I, let's say for a month, I'm using one bottle for a month and then I just you know, throw it away, mix another, make another mix. Now, if I'm using that underpainting, I don't have a name for it, I just use a Galkit underpainting. Then I'm using Galkit gel on top. Why? You can't probably got it, right? It's just mixing much better or, or going on top much easier and it's not creating the bubbles and um, that kind of uh, reset. Uh, edges so this is my uh, medium number two that I use um, a lot of times outside when I'm painting outside and I'm painting outside most of the, my time all right so gal kit uh, gel by gambling number two and number three is a special need gel uh, I'm using this gel either on after my medium number two or gel kit under un, under painting this gel is just for um, brush strokes if i want to build the kind of what i call sculpturing the paint uh, on top it's uh, mostly on uh, at the end of my my painting just to build up this gel is one of the best so if you look at the, all these three the differences between these three before we jump why when and how um so let's me put this way gel uh, solvent free gel by gambling will give you more running uh, surface so you won't be able to get really like brush stroke and fix it all right it's gonna melt it's gonna kind of like an ice cream it's gonna melt <laughs> i call it melting all right so you're using this just to um, solve the paint makes it easy mixing and easy applying and then if you want to service your surface of your paint be um, not building up but more like mixing and melting and and f infusion to with other colors so i'm using this for like melting the paint okay this is my kind of soft uh, pastel kind of um, surface this is, will be a solvent free gel if you would like to have more um, in pastel um, but i actually somewhere in the, in, in, in the middle uh, between like really impasted brush stroke and then that melting infusion uh, surface of, uh, of your uh, paint then gel gel get gel is one of the best uh, it's right in the middle so, so keeping the structure when you put the stroke it's not going to freeze right away i mean like you know the stay as it is it's going to melt a little bit but it's not going to melt as uh, uh, solvent free so it's gonna give a little bit of and i will show you on the demo it will give you a little bit of um, melt but it's gonna stay so you'll see the brush stroke and then uh terpenoid gel by uh, weber this is weber yes this is by weber terpenoid gel uh they the weber does or they produce or manufacture uh terpenoid natural which i use to clean my brushes um, just watch my video how to clean your brushes one of the best cleaner on the market if you somebody will say oh yeah yeah no. one of the best cleaner on the market just try it and we'll see it uh, it will preserve your brushes and um, make your brushes cleaner and you can you can you know prolong the life of your brushes uh, so uh terpenoid gel uh this is basically impasto gel there is a lot of impasto there is actually impasto waxes impasto uh, gels just specifically for when you mix it with that impasto gel or wax you put a brush stroke and it's gonna stay right i found actually this gel works much even better than waxes uh you mix it the only negative side of this if you're painting outside even in studio you squeeze a little bit and then after probably 10-15 minutes this is it it's done you you want i mean you can dip it but it start you know hardening and creating those like sand pieces so you have to squeeze just a little bit so you're using this if you want to make that stroke and you want to make that brush stroke and make sure that brush stroke is staying it's not melting it's not running it's not moving uh, this is one of the best and i normally use this gel at the end if i want to make let's say sunset i want to make that yellowish oranges stroke of sunset a lot you know the last beam of light 
I will use this just mega stroke and that's it and maybe some somewhere else if I want my you know oil or paint to be not moving just to be you know just to fix right away this is one of the best uh, gel on the market for this you may find something else I don't know but I'm this I'm just telling you what I'm using and how I'm using it okay so we have three brands that I'm using and I would recommend using it so it's uh, gambling solvent free and then we have Galkit um, Galkit gel and then by Weber terpenoid gel okay so why you need to use gel first question question number one why why is very simple um, first of all if you use high-end uh, or what I call luxury oil paints uh, they normally have less oil in the tube um, like st uh, student get grades you, you open the, open the tube and you have to squeeze it just to you know get the oil out uh, high-end luxury paints are mixed with a lot of pigments and less oil so less oil the less you know ability to move that paint around uh, especially mixing and applying in the canvas so that's why I'm using underpainting when we're blocking or underpainting canvas and the second is when we start using gel just to help us mix the colors right and apply it on the canvas that's a reason number one why just to help easy your work uh, number two why is to build the layers You're using a gel to build what I call sculpture sculpturing the oil you sculpture the layers and the gel is one of the best if you use that like underpainting or any other uh, mediums is not gonna it's gonna melt it's gonna you know like dissolve and flatten so you need to use a gel just to build the layers just to sculpture the the your canvas right the oils on top so layers 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 or even layers right uh, or brush stroke right next to each other which you want to define as a separate brush, brush stroke gel gel is one of the best now how you want to melt it a little bit or you want to somewhere in the between or you want to fix it that's different gels, uh, using different gels for different purposes. But the reason why is to build the layers, build that structure. Reason number three, why to use a gel. Uh, gel, is work, gel will work as a glue uh, between the layers. Uh, gel will, will work as a glue between the colors, uh, between the brush strokes. And also gel will work as a final, um, final coat. So it's, it's creating the layers like, uh, uh, it's not like, like acrylic plastic looking um, layer but it will create uh, when you finish your painting especially even outside on the plain air you will see that you know you 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 look at the painting and it's shining so it will create that uh, final layer of um, like a varnish kind of type so that's why uh, third reason why to use gel so it's not flattening so your oil is not sinking into the canvas so it's actually picking up because when you start using uh, gel uh, under underpainting after underpainting you create a layer first and then you on top of this and this layer already fixed right so on top of it uh, you're going to use a gel again and then third layer maybe gel again and you have first protection layer second protection layer and the third protection layer and all these layers are actually kind of shiny all right so it's kind of create the final look um, of the painting especially for uh, plain air competitions this is uh, this is just a must because you didn't have a luxury of waiting for six months to varnish your painting and put it on you know on display uh, yeah, sometimes uh, you you finish painting and you running to the gallery to hang that painting on the wall uh, for collectors to you know to look all right so this is three reasons why to use gel now we're going to question number two when when to use a gel and what I teach uh, my students and as, as I mentioned I didn't have a lot of students are very picky but what I teach uh, is um, my process and my process process of um, painting is the underpainting is the first and it's about 20% of painting right if you divide in the time uh, or percentage of painting 20% is underpainting and then as soon as you finish underpainting you let it dry and then you start introducing gel and it depends what underpainting you're using or you used and then it will define what gel you have to use under what underpainting you start using gel after underpainting or 
some people call it blocking, blocking in, all right? This is one, so the first, you making, you're blocking all the cannabis, you're covering all the cannabis, make sure the white is gone, and then using colors. There is a, watch the video about underpainting, how to use underpainting or blocking in. And then when it's kind of dry, you start applying paint with, not underpaint, with underpainting, even though sometimes I mix at the beginning, I mix a little bit of underpainting and a gel, and then probably as soon as I don't see, you know, any white spots or any spots, you know, with underpainting, which is like, looks like underpainting, I need to cover it. I'm moving to gel, only gel. I'm actually cleaning my cup with um, medium, underpainting medium, and I'm moving only to gel, start building layers. And gel is helping me uh, build, you know, build those layers. This is a one to start using gel. Now, you start using gel after underpainting, and then you're moving toward the finish of painting, and you start using gel less, 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 and less. And the final, and this is preferences. I like my final strokes of um, my, you know, my paint or colors or just final strokes, actually without any um, any gels. And it depends on the painting, what I'm trying to do. Uh, sometimes I'm using gel even on final, and I'm using uh, this gel, Weber uh, Terpenoid, because it's just fixed. Uh, sometimes I'm using um, a different gel from this three, or sometimes I'm just put final stroke without any gels because I want every you know, you know painting to shine, and this spot I want to go deeper. I want that paint to sink inside. Different, it's different scenarios. So, but when to use gel after the painting you start increasing gel and then start reducing probably like mixing just a little bit so you you have all this mixes on your on your palette right so you dipping into gel just a little bit less than from when you started after underpainting so this is when to use a gel okay so we're moving to question number three how and how Let's uh, have a canvas right here, and I will show you. Let's me show you the differences between the oldest three gels, and we'll do a demo how I'm using uh, gel. All right, so let's kind of jump on the canvas. I have a small uh, study work that I did in uh, during Doc um, a couple of weeks ago. I'm actually going back to a during Doc plain air competition. I will have only two days to paint instead of an entire week. But I did my, I mean, I came two weeks before, I mean, four weeks before, um, just to scout, uh, prepare, did some sketches, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I already know what I'm gonna paint. And actually today will be another good <laughs> practice. And I'll show you how I do, uh, how I do I apply gel when, you know, I'm doing actual real paintings. So this is, we're gonna, we're gonna do another study uh, of this paint. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it on my rack uh, as a reference. But for right now, I'm going to show you on this strip, I have a, you know, extra cut from my canvases, uh, get board. I will show you the differences between uh, different gels. So let's, let's say we have um, terpenoid and I have a list right here on my, on my palette. Uh, um, terpenoid gel, uh, galcoid gel and solvent, solvent free. So let's go with terpenoid gel. This will be right here. This is terpenoid gel. Oops. And you can see it's actually very stiff. Now next one will be our Galka gel. Just a little bit, we don't need that much. And then next one will be solvent free gel. And actually you can see right here, if you look different gels, you will see that actually Galkit gel is more, um, uh, there's no coloration. Um, terpenoid gel is a little bit toward like pinkish color. Uh, it has uh, some structure in it. Um, then Galkit gel is more clear. Uh, it's just clear, much cleaner. cleaner. And then solvent, solvent-free gel is kind of a little bit matted, 
uh, clear, clean and clear, but a little bit kind of has a matte look. All right, so this is three different, uh, different gels. Now I'm not going to use uh, underpainting. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, actually, you know what, let's do it, let's do it. And we'll just until, you know, while I'm showing you the actual three different gels on this board, we'll wait until this will dry. So let's get the brush, let's get the brush, let's get our medium. Put the medium right here. We're gonna use just a little bit, just a bit, but I need a lot. And let's make something green. Green brown for our underpainting. So this is what we're gonna use. This is our underpainting. Let's get even a little bit of a little bit of red. And then skies will be All right, so this is our underpainting. So under, after underpainting, you wanna clean your brush, make sure you know, there is a varnish in an underpainting, so you don't wanna ruin your brush, so you have to clean it. And I'll just leave it inside, just to make sure it's soaking. All right, so this is our, our underpainting. I'm not gonna use brush uh, to move it, fan brush. What I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use, just we don't have enough time for this demo. So just wanna wipe the excess of underpainting. So we're gonna dry faster. And I'm using um, the canvas uh, tape to um, to the board. And I'm actually next video will be a small small study work, how to do small study work, and this will be part of it. So it's good. Um, and this, let me clean it. Kind of. All right. Now let's take a look at the differences of um, differences of the gels. Taking a yellow ochre, let's take different colors: orange, um, or sienna, uh, and something like this, and actually red, just to to have different colors. And then I'm dipping my paintbrush into gel, solvent-free gel, right? And right away, it's just moving so freely. It's just the solvent that mix right away. And here's the brush stroke that you can have with this gel. So it's just melting right away. It has actually, it, you, you can see there is a brush strokes, right? And this is beautiful of gel, not using like oil or any other uh, mediums. You can see the brush strokes, but it's kind of melting. It's like looking pastel looking uh, gel, all right? As you can see right here. Now, let me clean the brush. And let me do the same mix that we did. Mm. 
but this way, this time, I will use a uh, gal kit. And you can see the gal kit is melting as well, but it's right, right in the middle, even right here. You can see that the brush stroke is more, see that? It's more fixable. It's like, you know, it's staying, it's not melting like this. I have to work actually harder to color, and the brush strokes are actually staying. So the gal kit is much better for uh, building structure, building like, oops. So I'm gonna put it right here and you can see my brush strokes are actually staying still with a small amount of melt or infusion, what I call it, all right? Let's clean this and let's mix, same mix, I'm dipping into yellow this time. just to get and now we're dipping into turpenoid gel which is like a very very impasse right and look what happened look it's like a wax see that look at that You can build, you can build your paint like if you want to make like stroke, like dark stroke, right? And make make it like pop. You can you can do it with that gel. So this is three different gels, three different gels. This is solvent free. You can see it's more pastel, it's more liquidish kind of. Um, it's melting, it's flattering, flattering uh, on the surface, on the canvas, uh, but it's good, you know, it's shiny and it's um, very, very uh, infusible, if I can say it, infusible <laughs> um, gel. Now this one is our Galkit gel, and as you can see, it's right in between this kind of melting infusion and staying building up as a very impasto it looks like a wax actually to be honest um, strokes it's right in the middle right so this is gal kit so if you take this is solvent free this is gal kit and this is I'm putting on this wall this is terpenoid gel so this is uh, these are three gels that I'm using so I'm using this gel uh, solvent solvent free gel with my medium number two which is uh, two parts of varnish and one part of gamsol I'm using this uh, gel and this is this gel right here solvent free gel by gambling I'm using this gel with my medium number two. Now this is Galkit gel, this one, Galkit gel, and I'm using Galkit gel with my medium, which I call Gal Galkit medium, which is uh, one part of Galkit, this Galkit, uh, and one part of uh, Gimsol. So it's one to one. So I'm using this gel when I'm using, and it's normally I'm using this outside. Uh, because when you're exposed to, to heat, your oil is already running, so you need to fix that a little bit better. This will be more for studio use, this for outside. And then if I want to impasto uh, brush strokes or build the layers uh, as a final layers, um, I'm using this gel, which is um, terpenoid gel by Weber. This one, and you can, uh, you can see the surface. See that? This is more impasto, I'm not sure you have a reflection or not, but this is more impasto, this is right in the middle and this is more melting. All right, so these are three gels that I'm using. Now, why to dissolve and to build the layers? When, after underpainting, and this we just did underpainting, and this is when we start, we'll start using gel, and we'll pick which one we wanna use um, right now. And then how? 
I'm gonna show you how right now. We're gonna do a demo of small painting, small study work. I'm not a not going to concentrate on actual painting. I'm gonna concentrate as normally I do my study work. I concentrate on shapes and overall. And you know, please watch the next video, which is not available yet, but it will be available probably on Tuesday or Wednesday uh, next week. Uh, small study work, how to do small study work. So let's jump on studies. All right, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use three brushes, uh, bigger brush, um, this is number four and this is number two, I believe, yes. Uh, two bristles and one synthetic. Uh, maybe on, uh, after yeah, I put the, you know, uh, layers, I will use maybe smaller brush just to final, you know, final uh, de defining the um, uh, shapes or the subjects, but Again, this purpose, the purpose of this uh, demo is not to show the how to paint the demo, but uh, actually how to use the gel, okay? How? That's a question number three. How to use a gel? So I'm gonna show you how to use the gel. Now we have, this is a painting we are going to do, uh, study. So what I will do, and as you know, I Sometimes I'm using actual oil pastel. I picked it up from Zufar Bigbo and I found it actually pretty pretty good. <laughs> so he's using, you know, after underpainting, he is defining the shape with oil paint. Sometimes, I mean oil stick, not oil stick, oil pastel. And why oil pastel? Because when you put the oil on top of this, oil and oil, they mix together, all right? So it's good. I'm gonna do my quick drawing. I'm gonna do uh, right here and this will be right here actually higher a little bit higher let's move it up a little bit even higher right here we'll have this here and then going turning back have this right here and then going this way and we have forest and i'm gonna dive right here and then we have this block of and here we have tree number one and tree number two and then we have clouds this way and clouds this way that's it our drawing is done so we're taking this brush and we'll work with uh actually you know what let me clean so which gel we're gonna use which gel uh would you like me to uh use for this demo uh, so i guess Right, uh, let's use, I'm kidding. Let's use, uh, let's use, what, 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 let's use gel, uh, Galkit gel, uh, because it's right in the middle, uh, in the middle, uh, between melting, solvent free, and actual Weber uh, terpenoid gel. So we're gonna use uh, Galkit, this, Galkit, right in the middle, uh, middle. So let's clean this, remove it, let's remove this, because tomorrow it's gonna dry. And actually, Galkit, Turpinoid Galkit will dry probably in like 10 minutes. You won't be able to use it. It's drying really fast. All right, so we're using Galkit. And we're gonna squeeze a little bit more. Because I'm gonna use a little bit more. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a little bit more actually. And actually you can see right away that even I squeezed it like maybe 10, 15 minutes ago, the color of the gel is already changed. So it's already kind of starts fixing uh, because it's exposed to the air. All right, so let's, let's use gel. So I'm using gel, dipping into the gel, and I'm gonna use the darkest of dark. And this will be, again, I'm concentrating not on the painting, right? I'm concentrating on showing how I'm using, how I'm using the, so this will be darkest part. I'm going this way, this way, and then a reflection right here. So I'm dipping into gel, so I'm using gel. This will be reflection. Actually, I can put it maybe, add another, and then here. This will be, we're gonna cover this. All right, so this is darkest part, and then let's convert it to a little bit of greenish side. Again, I'm dipping into my 
a lot into my gel, right? Because I want to create that imposter. This will be tree number one. This tree. Now we're going to make sure it's not that sticky. Tree here, here. And um, next video will be actually about how to mix colors on for small work, small study work. Okay, and so let's let this be dark. Not that I want to be dark, but now this is more. Put a little bit of, a little bit of warmer colors, and we're gonna fix that with our. Now this is dark. We're gonna put dark. By the way, um, another video I'm gonna work because I have one YouTuber that she's she's very active and I appreciate it very very much, and she's asking the question about uh, cool and warm biases and how to apply cold and warm colors on the on the palette. So this is actually a good example. If this is a cold and this is cold because this is in the shadow, I'm gonna put a very bright color right here, warm color right next to, so it's uh, actually, you know, create that contrast. All right, uh, this will be our, uh, this is going to be our reflection. And we're gonna put, now I'm constantly using gel. See this, I'm constantly using gel. So I'm using this, I'm using this. This will be our Okay, now I'm using gel from this side because I want to make sure I have clean mix oops so and I'm mixing warm color and this warm color is going to be right here and again I'm not concentrating on the study I know this study already so I just want to show you I'm using gel so this will be warm, this will be really warm right here. This is our kind of okay now let me create a mix of this. It's a more on cold side, and again I'm dipping in my, in my, in my now this is then going to be like this. This will be darker, but greenish. This is a reflection that we'll have. Now we will warm it up. Now, repetition. See that repetition? We have to remove that repetition and cover it with. And we're going to put it maybe here and maybe here. Now let's mix kind of cold color right here for this. I'm gonna put now 
this is in a shadow so this will be very cold and then it's going to mix into warm color and it's going to mix into warm color not warm but warmer now I'm going to mix it uh, keep in mind I have not used I have not used the uh, titanium white yet because I'm not going to I'm going to use it at the end I don't like using a lot of titanium white oops this is all right so this is done let's use big brush to paint it's not all done because we need to and this again this is only because I'm using gel I can move this and this is actually looking pretty good all right so we have now this big brush I want to cover this so I'm gonna dip from this side and normally I squeeze another gel pile for just for skies but I have this kind of clean so I'm using titanium white and I'm using this two mixes and this gel and I'm gonna use a little bit of So this will be our this will be our sky now toward close to the um, closer to the earth I mean to the her, uh, horizon we have the light it's actually changing so we can do this sure not contaminating the paint and closer to I mean far away it should be darker yeah, actually I'm gonna use darker like this and we need to move it move it lower because it's too high this is too high so I'm going to push it down oops now we'll have this mix and you know what I'm running out of gel so I'm going to squeeze another clean pile and this is how I'm using gel. So make sure you uh, have a clean one for like sky or for something. And we're gonna use, let's use this. This will be our. This will be our cloud. And again, the main rule for painting clouds and skies is what? Make sure it's it's not it's kind of smooth. And I can put introduce maybe cloud right small cloud right here and maybe a little bit different color coloration right here again I'm using gel yeah I'm gonna use gel right actually let's push it this way I'm gonna use the clouds right here
contaminate it. Let's fix it. Let's crop paint. Let's crop gel. Something like this. Now, the reflection is always darker, right? Again, I'm grabbing the gel and I need a little bit of dirt <laughs> into reflection. So, no, I need a little bit of green in that red reflection for right now. And I'm grabbing it again, gel, and I'm gonna do this reflection right here. Here will be lighter. For right now, I can put this in. And fix it and make sure we're not going into the corner. something like this and also I want to make sure this is has repetition again and make sure we don't have repetitions repetitions gel but now I'm gonna start working on finished touches and I'm not going to use a lot of a lot of gel so I'm kind of moving away from it just a little bit because I have already a, a, a kind of a lot of uh, gel on the board so I'm gonna use this right here and just to highlight I'm gonna use this you know light is coming through catching the light right here catching light right there catching light right here against this Right here and then we have reflection here and we have gel we will define this here and here. Make sure it's darker. And this is darker. Okay. right here and final now I'm going final and I'm using Sam actually I'm not gonna use this at all I'm gonna put um, right here the touches of shadows 
reflection actually not shadows but reflection in in the water and I'm using I'm using this okay. this should be cold I'm gonna use just a little bit of gel okay and What we can do, we can do this. Now, now I'm not using any gel because you know this canvas has enough gel already. So I'm gonna use just paint without gel. Oops, wrong spot. Let's pick this up. That's it. Uh, this is just a study work how to approach the actual study work and then how to use the gel. Um, so I started using, under after underpainting, I was, I was using a lot of gel and then toward the finish, I reduce, 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 and then final strokes, actually without, without gel. I can do what I can do. I can actually, when it will kind of start fixing, I can, if I need to put accent somewhere with like defined brush stroke, right? I, I can use terpenoid gel. Um, just to you know, fix that brush stroke. All right, that will be all for today. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please don't forget to subscribe. If you're new, if you're new to this channel, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like, hit the bell. Stay tuned. I'm working on a lot, a lot of um, uh, videos, a lot of episodes. Also, I'm working on actually a Patreon side um, platform where you, um, as YouTubers, can support me. Uh, to create this, those videos, uh, I will have several options and I'm probably going to shoot a video or episode just about the Patreon, how I'm thinking of using it. Uh, but for now on, I will keep going uh, with demos. Uh, the only thing that will, will be different is the demos will be speeded up for YouTube and on the Patreon. This will be actually full length with full explanation and it's like, like a like like a class, like a you know study course. Uh, but I, I love doing this for on, on YouTube for you guys. And if you have any questions about you know how to use gel, when, how, and or why, when, and how, <laughs> please uh, leave a comment. One good side about Patreon side that uh, actually we can have a communication one on one. I can reply and you know kind of guide you. Uh, to painting if you have any questions if you're not you're just watching it for entertainment or like before bedtime which is good too uh, i do it all the time so uh, if you're new to this channel please subscribe uh, hit the like hit the bell if you already my subscribers and youtubers 
thank you thank you thank you very much for watching my videos and supporting me so stay tuned and other videos actually coming the next video will be about small study work how to do small study works and it's actually will be a little bit longer uh, and it will be this video will be on the patreon side as well full length um, because that's very very important I, I always teach and kind of uh, you know uh, preach uh, daily painting and study work uh, and I will show you how to do study work uh, toward your masterpiece so stay tuned and I will see you next time and I forgot to show you the best part of this uh, painting on the actual canvas tape canvas and I love this part and I just I cannot ref you know I cannot <laughs> that to show it to you so the best part is actually removing the tape and this is I just love this this is like this is like ice cream after the good uh, lunch so you're removing this and you know this piece of quarter inch or less than a quarter inch uh, showing up showing up and it just looks in my opinion it just look good it's like you know it's like a butter on the, in the bread look at this oh is that gorgeous I'm not, I'm not I'm not saying this gorgeous painting I'm just saying this is just when you take the tape oops oh yeah Look at that. I love that. Uh, my, uh, my Patreon subscribers, uh, I will have all the study words that, or demos that I will do, I will do for Patreons and anyway, for YouTube. But my Patreon subscribers and you know, supporters, it's not subscribers, it's supporters, will actually will, will have access to this you know, demos, small demos. Some of them will be uh, like a ruffle, uh, free, Free of charge or a very small fee uh, or maybe not even fees uh, so it will be available for you I'll ship it to you as appreciation for your support so now see you next time